In this audit, we looked at whether Victoria Police understands its frontline staffing needs and whether it uses this information to make resourcing decisions aligned to its strategic objectives. We examined how Victoria Police identifies and manages its staffing needs. Victoria Police's staffing needs are not clear as it does not have a strategic workforce plan. It also has no modelling and forecasting capabilities. This hinders its ability to understand and plan for its current and long-term staffing needs. Without knowing its future staffing needs, Victoria Police relies on what it receives from government rather than providing evidence-based advice. Victoria Police also cannot assure itself or the community that the 2,729 more police officers it received as part of the $2 billion Community Safety Statement Program delivered community safety outcomes. This is because Victoria Police has not attempted to assess incremental benefits realised from this investment. Given the large ongoing government investment into staffing, it is important to assess whether Victoria Police is using this funding effectively. Victoria Police has around 21,600 staff. About 16,300 of these are sworn police officers. In 2020 to 21, it spent $3.8 billion on staffing. Since 2016, the Victorian government has funded an additional 3,637 sworn officers. In 2016, Victoria Police commissioned the development of the Staff Allocation Model, or SAM. This system is designed to allocate staff resources by comparing and prioritising demand across different regions and commands based on various input data. Victoria Police's assessment of its current and long-term staffing requirements is not evidence-based. Its request for 2,729 additional sworn officers in 2016 was not supported by any modelling or forecasting. Victoria Police told us that this number originated from a government decision. Victoria Police also did not support its recent bid for 1,489 more officers with sufficient evidence. Victoria Police does not have a benefits management plan to measure whether the 2,729 increase in staff has improved policing services or public safety in the community. While it did implement a project management plan focused on monitoring the recruitment and deployment of staff, this was inadequate to track the return on a $2 billion government investment. Victoria Police's management of SAM data inputs does not comply with the Victorian government's data quality standards. Victoria Police's non-compliance increases the risk that the data collection for SAM is not systematic and is inconsistent. We made six recommendations to Victoria Police. One recommendation requires better understanding of its staffing requirements, and one is on benefits realisation reporting for its projects. The other four recommendations were on SAM's development and data quality management. To find out more or to read our full report, go to audit.vic.gov.au.